What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. For the last couple of episodes now, we've been taking a look at some products from the Don Juan lineup. It's definitely been a lot of fun, but today we are going to wrap up our first set of explorations into this brand with a full look and review on their number one selling pomade. Are you kidding me right now? This has never happened. Oh, I'm out of oil. I did not plan for this. And of course it's happening right now as we're filming this video. Be right back and we're back. Just needed a little bit more oil. For those that don't know, this is actually my granddad's lamp. After he died, I ended up getting it from my grandmother and I've always loved the way it looks always loved it he had a bunch of lamps like this and you know what for being as old as it is it still works awesome and with that we are back in business all right once again thanks so much for tuning in today i hope everyone had a great weekend i'm glad to be back with you guys today for another full week of content before we jump into today's video though you know we got to take care of some business and of course i'm talking about the subscriber spotlight Today, the spotlight is on Alex Coran and his take on the modern quiff using the Rusal Fiber Pomade. That is some very cool stuff there, Alex. I think we can all agree you wear that style very well. Thanks so much for your submission, and I apologize in advance if I butchered your last name. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance for everyone who sends in a subscriber spotlight. I do have a tendency of butchering last names. But if you do want to be considered for a future episode, info will be in the description on how to send in your submission. Make sure you do it right away if you want to get featured. A list is forming now, so if you want to get your name on there send in your submission right away for now though let's get down to business today we're talking about the hybrido pomade from don juan which i'm told is their most popular product hearing those words definitely interests me but as you know with me it doesn't really matter how good it sells or how popular it is it's all about that bottom line question does it perform that's all that matters and that is the big question we're going to answer today here we go Coming across my desk today is the Hybrido Pomade from Don Juan. According to the brand, the Hybrido Pomade is an enhanced water-based pomade enriched with natural plant extracts and Dead Sea minerals. It provides an all-day stronghold with a medium shine and a nurturing effect in the hair. It also reactivates with water and has a fresh summer breeze scent. It also comes in a 4-ounce plastic jar and sells for $15 US. Looking inside the jar, we get our first look at this pomade. It's obvious just by looking at it that it's a gel type, in case anyone one else didn't know already. That being the case, it does have that typical gel type look and feel with a light blue tint to it. Breaking it down in the hand is, again, very consistent with a gel type, with really the only unique feature here being that it does feel a tiny bit dry or tacky, which is not something we see with every gel type. For today's demo, we're rolling with, of course, damp hair since we're using a gel type. This and using an oil-based pomade is really my only exception to my usual preferences of dry hair styling. That being said, application here is pretty standard, typical I'd say. It goes in slick, not much stickiness for the first scoop, but after two or three, it really takes presence in my hair, which is exactly what I need to begin sculpting. The first of a couple of things that I look for in a gel type is right here, how quick it sets, because 
because really we don't want it to harden up super fast while we're trying to get our perfect shape. That being said, I really don't see that here and I purposely took some extra time moving the hair around with my comb to see when it would start to firm up and it took a quite a little while, much longer than I was expecting. Some other things I noticed here is the hair does seem to stick together nicely just how I like it and it remains slick so the comb gets through the hair just how I want it to, making the final style very easy to come by. One of the other things I look for in a gel type is how much exactly does it harden up after it dries. Now from our past looks at these products, we know it's going to harden up quite a bit actually. That's their job. But what I look for is does it harden up to more of a normal level or does it start to harden up to the point where it feels like the hair is either going to snap off or deflect a bullet or something. Here's a look at exactly how much it hardened. This was about 45 minutes or so after I finished styling, so I would consider this fully dried. I think it hardened up quite a bit, but really not over the top in my opinion. In all honesty, there really is only a few that I've ever tried that really harden up to that point where it's annoying. Most of them really do only harden up to a point where it's not that big a deal, really. Next though, we did need to check the endurance. This here is one of the final two things that I look for in a gel type. For those that have been around the channel for a long time, you'll know that I have had bad gel types that have lost their hold within like an hour. So this is something I always look at. at the four hour mark, I gotta say things still look very locked in. It hasn't budged at all. It's pretty much the exact same. At the eight hour mark, I gotta say for the most part, it looked the exact same too. I do think to be fair, there was some slight, slight movement on the side there, but it was over a hundred degrees on the day that I was testing it. This does though give us a good opportunity to check the water reactivation ability. Usually what I like to do to test this is just wet my comb and run it through my hair. This here was a tad bit hard at first. It kind of pulled some hair out, but after a bit, it actually worked very well. It acted pretty much just like it did when I first applied it, and then it styled right back up with no issue. Like I said, it was hot on the day that I tested this. It was just flat out miserable outside, but honestly, I think it did really well with the endurance test. It honestly doesn't surprise me that it went so well because one of the things I do know about this brand is that their products were developed to withstand heat. Moving on though to the washout, which really there's not much to say about. It completely fell out with water, no issue at all. Just totally rinses clean with water, which again is something I was expecting with it being a gel type. Next though, let's talk about the scent. I have to tell you, I love this scent. It is fresh. It's got this kind of cologne, body wash type feel to it. It smells really awesome. That actually might be my favorite part about not only this product, but all the ones that I've looked at from the Don Juan lineup. I think that this by far is the best scent that they have in all of their products so far that I've seen awesome scent. Lastly though, my final thoughts on this product is I think it's pretty good. It's pretty well made. I think it holds up well. It styles nicely. It certainly meets all my usual expectations for a gel type. I guess my only small pieces of criticism for this one would be that I didn't see much of that nurturing effect at all or anything regarding those plant extracts or dead sea minerals that they say is in the formula. I didn't see it providing really anything at all in the product. I'm sure in hindsight though it is better to have those in the formula than more harsh chemicals, but really that's the only thing that stood out to me. Other than that though, I thought it was pretty well done. I can definitely see why it's their top seller. The scent is awesome, the styling is good, and really the hold and endurance is straight up Energizer Bunny. It just goes and goes and goes. It's freaking awesome. I gotta tell you too, I think in my opinion, it tops Suavecito for sure. And that's really not hype. Back in the day, I used to use Suavecito a lot actually, but I gotta call it the way I see it. I think this one works a lot better. Better. But again, that's just my opinion. I definitely encourage you guys, as usual, to take the information that I've presented here and form your own conclusions, make your own opinions. That's really what it's all about. If you are interested, though, in picking up the Hybrido Pomade from Don Juan or actually any of the other products that I've shown you guys in the past couple episodes, links will be in the description along with a coupon code to save you a little money on your next order. If you did enjoy this video, though, go ahead and hit that thumbs up icon for me and also go ahead and drop me a comment down below 
below too with what you thought of this gel type. I am always interested in hearing what you guys think and I enjoy reading your comments on all the videos. So go ahead and drop me one with what you think. And if you've been watching the channel lately, you know what I'm about to say. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you need to do that now. I am so ready to start that 25K giveaway. So if you haven't yet subscribed, hit the button and make sure you're sharing the channel with your friends. That's a huge help to me. But that is our episode for today. I want to thank you so much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. I'll be back with you guys again right here very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.